Hey there, thank you for watching this clip on simplifying exponents. This is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. When you're dealing with exponents, one of the thorniest issue is negative exponents. I always tell my students, since I'm living in Tucson, Arizona here, we have a lot of cactus. So think of those negative exponents as cactus needles. You really, really want to just plug them out. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. When you have a negative exponents, you want to do 1 over x is equal to x to the minus 1. Okay, so minus exponents means 1 over something. Now let's see what we have here. It's 1 over this thing, so it's m to the minus half to the minus 1. Okay, this minus 1 is from the fact it's 1 over this. After you get in this form, if there's no another base, you just multiply them. This becomes m to the half. Ah. After you pull the cactus needle out, it's a lot easier to treat it. Okay, here, by definition, becomes m to the square root. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. I spotted there is a minus sign there, so I'm going to do 1 over f to the 16. Okay, so right away, I'm pulling this cactus needle out. Now I have another one over here. Since it's 1 over that, I'm just going to write it literally, 1 over... 256 g to the 4 h to the minus 4. Now, if you notice, there is another minus sign, but it's inside the parenthesis. So I'll deal with that later. Okay, I'm going to do the outside one most first. And now here I have what we call a stacked fraction. It's a fraction over fraction. So what we're going to do is think of this one as 1 half over 1 half. You know the answer is 1. And how we're going to get that is keep the top one literally the same and multiply, change the division to multiply, and flip the bottom. That's the fancy word to say multiply by its reciprocal. That's just really flipping it over. And then you're going to do 1 times 1 and 2 times 1. The answer is 1. So we're going to do exactly the same thing, even though this is a little more complicated. I'm going to keep the top, which is 1 over 16. I'm going to flip the bottom. 256 g to the 4 h to the minus 4 over 1 the whole thing to the quarter okay doesn't that look a lot better now okay I'll change this one into positive and this one into positive let's leave this one alone what we're going to do is going to deal with this quarter i'm going to distribute it quarter to each one of them think of it as a you know those cats Caddy fights girls have. So uh, this quarter got to go fight with each one of them. Okay, so you have 256 to the quarter, g to the 4 times a quarter, h to the minus 4 times a quarter as well. Okay. Now let's go 1 over f to the 16, leave it alone for now. 2 to the 15th, it's radical root of 256. Okay, so if you have a calculator, uh, try to try to see if you can figure it out. So it's uh, 256 y to the x, and I'm going to put a 0.25 in there because it's just taking radical root of radical root. It's fourth here. Okay, so it's 4 to the fourth. So basically 16 squared is 256. So I'm going to get this chunk equal to 4. g here to the 1 because this multiply out to be 1. Okay, h to the minus 1. Let's do it all over again. There's a minus 1 over here. So I have 4g times f to the 16. Okay. Now remember, h to the minus 1 is equal to 1 over h to the positive 1. Okay. So 1 over h. Let's write one more step, and then we're going to finish cleaning it. 4 times g, h times f to the 16. And that's the answer. All right, that's how we handle simplifying exponents. Hope you got it. Send you requests for further similar questions to my math channel, and uh, I will try to work it out and record another uh, video to video clip for you. Don't forget to like this clip, and until next time, have a confident day.